What's up everyone? Once again, we're back with another tutorial and this one is a follow-up from the previous tutorial, uh, the, par the part two where I spoke about on how you can actually um, access your hard drive once you've recovered your data from it. But um, now what I'm going to do in this tutorial is show you guys on how to maintain this drive once you have recovered your data from it and, um, and then you have formatted the drive to use it again. Uh, so I'm going to give you some uh, hints up on, on how to know if the, if the drive is in a good condition to be used uh, for future references um, or uh, the reason we, we were having bad sectors and, and the drive wasn't working previously was because the drive was physically damaged from inside. It was hardware issues, uh, hardware related issues instead of um, partition just simply being corrupted. Uh, so to find this out, I mean, I mean, right now we have uh, the hard drive formatted, and we can access it. We can access this uh, very quickly. And um, but the problem is, the problem is not now. The problem will be later on, whenever we start putting files into this drive and trying to access those files and where, where the drive actually needs to read, and and uh, the disk inside the drive that spins and the header on top of that reads. Uh, that basically, if there if there's a problem uh, with the uh, uh, with the health issue of the drive, then it, it won't actually work, and it will keep corrupting your data, and you're gonna have to go through those steps again. So, it might be time for you to replace your drive. But what I'm gonna introduce uh, to you guys um, is this application right here that I downloaded from from the website. It's a, a shampoo uh, HDD control two. It's a very good application if you wanna uh, use it to. Um, uh, have, uh, to maintain your hard drive and have a look at your hard drive uh, to defragment it, to do a benchmark on it, a drive cleaner and all this stuff. But what I'm mainly going to be discussing right now is is uh, the uh, the health issue of this drive. So right now you can see over here, this is my drive J, partitions J, so I can show you that this is the current drive that uh, we were actually on. Uh, you can see right here, a new volume J. So that is the, uh, the drive that I've actually recovered now and uh, formatted again and uh, using it now. But uh, the problem is right now you can see uh, the health condition of this drive, it's critical. Uh, the severe problems were detected, uh, those need attention urgently, uh, so please read information below. Um, to be honest, there, there isn't much you can do to this drive once uh, uh, the, um, the hard drive deteriorates itself. Uh, it's worn out right now. You can see it says reallocated sectors count are gone completely. So status there's a complete error. Uh, here the spin retry count. So sometimes you hear the hard drive making physical noises. Um, that means uh, the spin capacity is gone as well. Uh, right here there's a warning. It says that it's a high flat write. So sometimes it misses out whenever it's writing data to it or reading back from it. And here the temperature as well. It's uh, it's it's gone. It overheats very quickly. Um, if it's left on for around an hour, it starts overheating, the drive gets a little too hot, and by that you can see actually it's, it's reached 44% of its status. So, I mean, it's it's wearing out the drive. So in this in this case, what what, I, what I'm gonna be doing is getting rid of this, this drive and buying a new drive to replace it with, because um, this app has actually helped me to uh, figure out that um, if, if the drive is usable for future references, and now I know that it's not so uh, instead of putting more data into it and later on I'm gonna have to go through those stages again it's better off if I just get rid of this drive and buy a new drive and replace it where I'm gonna have a health capacity of 100% now these two drives are inside my uh, laptop and you can see they both have 100% health and 100% performance and the minimum temperatures as well this is the one that's currently being used that's why 37 degrees but that's fine um, but the one, the external hard drive is not even that, that warm yet, but the problem is the health is gone. So that means putting more files into it, retrieving, deleting, all that is going to cause it to um, stop working. It's going to burn out even more, more faster. Um, so it's not going to really perform up to it. Uh, it doesn't have much life capacity uh, left, so it's time to change this. But um, this is for those of you who, who have actually um, formatted your drive and try and use it again. I would suggest you get this app right here. And, uh, and and do the test, monitor your drive on it, and make sure that your health and your performance are somewhere uh, up, up, up to the performance where you want to make sure that you won't have to uh, be losing your stuff again and you're going to have to format the drive and go through all that bullshit again. So do uh, try to get this app and run it on your drive if you think um, if that problem is going to come back sometime soon or not. 
Uh, another way, um, if you don't have any issues with your drive and you want to maintain it from uh, data corruption from happening, uh, the second step would be always make sure you uh, come over here down to the taskbar, expand this, um, click on this icon right here, and safely remove hard drives. So right click on that and then uh, eject your USB 2.0 SATA bridge, which is the uh, external hard drive that I've connected. So by doing this, it will maintain uh, the drive from being corrupted and uh, avoid any corruption happening, partitions becoming corrupted. And now you can see the drive's completely gone from here, so that means it's being ejected. So, um, so there we go, guys. Uh, this video has actually helped. Please do subscribe. Uh, leave a comment below if you have any, any further questions uh, requiring this. And I'll put a link to this uh, app here uh, in the description, so check it out. Peace out.